Okay, welcome back to FTL. Today we're playing through with the Mantis Type B, and this is far and away the luckiest playthrough I've ever had, so I have high hopes for the rest of it. Let's move on to Sector 6. Got a quest marker down here, but I want to check out these distress beacons first. Stasis pod. We'll take the weapon to see what it is. <laughs> oh, it's a glaive beam. Of course it's a glaive beam. What else could it possibly be? Oh, good lord. Okay. Watch, now we're going to get a weapon pre-igniter. Send over a boarding party. can't stop laughing. This is so, so broken. We'll hail them. We'll be pacifists, which is a total lie considering all the murder we've done. Get some free stuff. Oh, free burst laser. Okay. Now let's go ahead and max out our weapons. Because with that done, we can swap out the hull beam for the glaive beam. Power that up. And let's see. If I swap the hull laser out for that burst laser, I can use that and the breach bomb. four of my mantis. Well, the last one's almost maxed out on combat. He will be shortly. Let's check out the store. See if it's got a weapon for igniter. Nope. It's got some more crew. Let's take a look and see how we're doing on that. Yeah, we should hire one more guy to man our shields. And I'll buy some more fuel. This will be safe. see, what upgrades do I feel like making? Um, we'll go ahead and upgrade our teleporter, because that'll have a faster cooldown, and our engines. 
and our oxygen system while we're at it, just for the sake of durability. It's a nearby sun, but we're going to send over an extremely weak boarding party. are not as good at fighting fire as either. I think their repair bonus or repair penalty counts for that as well. And really now I'm just waiting for them to get that out. Okay. wait for my teleporter to cool down before I can bring them back because this is a hostile sector. But hopefully we'll still be able to jump out of here before we get hit with another flare. Yeah, alright. Cool. Let's move on. We will be aiding the civilian ship, of course. <laughs> that poor man is he's just gonna suffocate. it'll be a simple matter to get everything fixed back up. Free defense drum mark two, that's very nice. Now I actually have something to spend scrap on. And we get yet another free Angie. Um, we don't actually need him for anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and let him go. But feels good. We reactivated him. He's free to go do whatever he feels like now. And the last sector is the Engi controlled sector, so this should be fairly safe. Not that there's really much that can threaten us at this point. No, we won't be paying your toll. I bet I can kill these guys off before they even get a chance to fire a missile. playthrough looks like it's been really easy, that's because it has. Uh, we have had extraordinarily good luck. Come on, weapon free igniter. <laughs> nope, that's okay. I really don't need any supplies. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the stuff I don't plan on using. Man, look at all that scrap. Let's see. No, we don't need to upgrade our drones anymore to power both, so... No reason to spend more scrap on it. I think now... Well, you know, why not? This way, we can reroute power and kind of max things out as needed. For instance, since we're not using our med bag, we can jack up our engine power and get almost 50% evasion, which is fantastic. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and try to download this ship source. Hey, we're successful. Means we get an updated map. Very cool. Oh, these guys are going to be a pushover. I shouldn't even send over all four borders, but why not? carefully cut the ship out. <laughs> more scrap, more fuel, and another free augment. My god. Nope, don't need it. Mine these asteroids or for some more completely unnecessary scrap. And nothing here I really need. I literally have almost nothing I need to spend scrap on at this point. It's just silly. Some more scrap that we don't need, but whatever. I could buy another Defense 2 drone, but that's a lot of power, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. Uh, we're going to have to fight the Rebel Peak fleet a few times, but not too worried about that. Like glaive beam is powered up all. Use a combination of things to take down machines. That hit. Send on borders, that's fine. probably actually be quicker just to disable these guys' med bay and send my boarding party over, so I'm going to give that a shot. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, let's move on to the final sector. through their shields enough that I can disable it with the glaive beam. Here we go. I at least damaged it. I think we can afford to spend one more missile on these guys. Yeah, there we go. out everything I can possibly max out. Oh, we have to jump all the way up there. Okay. Across the scout ship. Not too worried about this. Ship, it didn't completely disable it, so I'm gonna spend one more breach bomb on them. There we go. jump up here because I know that'll connect to the point where the enemy flagship is jumping. Rebel Scout. Just cloaking out of spite here. See the cooldown time on a fully powered cloaker is really nice. They cloak again, but our weapons are fully charged, so that's all right. So we 
actually did some damage there, so that's pretty good. Hey, there we go. Disabled the cloak. No reason to spend any more ammo on this guy. that we're ready to take on the rebel flagship i do not expect it to do well all right let's figure out what we want to do here i don't really need an extended cloak for this i don't need my med bay at the moment and i think i can afford to power down my engine a little bit too this way we can use the defense drone for two Wow, he sent in borders at the start of the fight. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's interesting. Okay, so standard procedure. We'll send over some manas to deal with the missile launcher. And then with the rest of our weapons, we'll focus on his shields. I might put a breach bomb or two into his cloaking as well. Took a hit there, but it's nothing important. these weapons off before he cloaks again. Nope. No such luck. Well, we'll just have to wait for things to recharge. I'm actually of a mind to maybe breach bomb his med bay and then go in so I can disable some of his other systems, but... That may just not be practical. I think I'm going to play this out the way I usually do. There we go. There's half of his shields gone. And excellent. Now I do have to sit here for a while and wait for the glaive beam to recharge. But I'm going to go ahead and put another breach bomb in there just to weaken his crew and hopefully do some more damage. Actually, if I time this right, I might be able to straight up kill off a crew member or two, which would be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a shot at that. Very nice. what, like one point of damage there? That was pretty simple. Okay, let's move on to round two. See how this goes. Once again, we'll... Actually, for the sake of having a longer cloak, I'm just going to use the defense drone mark one here. Um, I don't know, but there are going to be incoming boarding drones. I'm actually going to power down a few things here and see if I can run both. very much evasion, but I think that'll be more than made up for by the double drones. Alright, let's see how this goes. Once again, they completely fail at shooting down that incoming drone. since the system isn't actually down. And we'll 
see if this next breach bomb hits. That misses, but that's okay. I've got all of my other weapons queued up. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Half of his health gone. Should probably turn on my med bay. No, I don't really have that option right now. Man, they are just not shooting down the boarding drones. I wonder if there was a patch or something that made it so that defense drones can't shoot them down anymore. That would suck, but I guess it's fair. Defense drones did pretty effectively neuter that. And he's down. There we go. That did not take long enough to be anything resembling a threat, so... Oh, we're so close to being able to totally max out our ship. Alright, I can turn off the defense drone and power up my mid bay to heal everybody up. Make sure everybody else is doing okay, yeah. just to top off my hair while I'm at it. Alright. Well, we are quite literally as prepared as we possibly can be, so let's go finish this off. It's got a super shield, but my weapon probably make pretty quick work of it, actually. Look at that, not a single missile got through. Glaive Beam polishes off the rest of that Super Shield. Dodge that incoming super attack nicely. Their shields have been weakened, so start opening up on with the Glaive Beam. I might be able to hit four rooms from that direction if I'm very careful with how I target this. Yeah, I think that'll just hit. Very nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Just gotta remember to bring my mantis back before I kill their ship off. Alright, they're safe. They brought on a boarding party, but we've got full health. Oh, and I forgot to turn my oxygen back on. Oops. Alright. Oh, that would have been the most shameful way to end this run. Completely broken the game, and then all of my crew suffocate because I'm an idiot. There we go. That was a piece of game. Well, if you ever wanted to see somebody break the game, I think you pretty much just saw that. That was ridiculous. Uh, I don't think there's really anything that could have possibly gone better in that playthrough. That was about as good as it gets. Um, and you can see why the Mantis Type B is my favorite ship. Having four Mantis Borders is just so, so fun and so powerful. Um, it's not as useful against the final boss because you generally don't want to board you know, all four of your dudes at once, at least the way I deal with it but it's still really good, and the fact that you get so much more scrap from all of the boarding that you do just means that that ship can very quickly become unstoppable if you don't run into too much trouble early on, which in this case we didn't, so it was a piece of cake. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys some other time.